welcome everyone to this August 29th, 2022 meeting of the Corsican ISD Board of Trustees. This is a regular meeting and all items that have been, that will be discussed have been duly posted. While this is a meeting in public, it is not a meeting of the public. If you wish to speak, please register in the lobby on the audience for guest form and follow the information on the speaker form. The board's role is to set goals, approve personnel and budgets, make policy and provide oversight. We are not here to manage or solve individual problems. Management is a responsibility of the superintendent. As a board, that we, we, believe, we believe that we must educate every child, provide every child the greatest opportunity to learn, and maintain a safe and secure environment, mentally, physically, emotionally, and academically. These are our core values. We appreciate your interest in the students of CISD. All right. We're going to go into the public hearing to discuss the proposed budget and tax rate for the 2022-23 school year. We have no speakers, correct? Okay. We have no speakers, correct? No, right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Brian? So what we're going to do is we're going to close the public hearing since no one's here to speak and then we'll come back into it and do it all in our discussion action items then. Okay? All right. So now we're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Tomorrow, would you be so kind as to lead us in prayer? Absolutely. Okay, we're going to go into the superintendent's report with Dr. Frost. Okay. Um, on Friday of last week, we activated Skyward's new parent portal platform. Um, that was pretty good. I said all those P's without mm -hmm. stumbling. Um, through this platform, parents can access grades and check student absences. The Skyward link is available on CISD.org and on our CISD app. I encourage everyone to download the app. It's really simple and, and nice to use. Um, our new technology has over 800 downloads, and the app gets updated regularly, most recently adding the campus lunch menus and the Skyward link. 
We want to congratulate Coach Sardinia and the Tigers on winning Friday night versus Frisco Liberty. I mean, Thursday night um, versus Frisco Liberty. That was a really exciting game. We congratulate them. We look forward to cheering them on this next week on Friday as they take on North, North Garland. It's our first home game. We also want to congratulate our cross-country team um, in the heat and humidity that our athletes brought back six, med six medals at the Hillsborough meet. We want to wish them good luck at their meet um, this next Thursday as well. We um, want to recognize our teachers and administrators at Navarro Elementary for creating such a positive learning environment. If you check our social media, you will see the student promises to dedicate themselves to being honest, thanks, thankful, and friendly to each other. Um, they signed a, a pack to commit themselves to those values this year. We recently contacted parents and staff members informing them of campus phone number changes. This is an update to our phones um, which were um, about to no longer be supported by AT&T. The new numbers can be found listed on our district website and in the app. We want to remind our community of several upcoming functions. One of them is the Navarro Elementary Color Blast Fun Run which is scheduled for Saturday, September 10th. Um, we have our principal here from Navarro. Will you be um, running in the fun run? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it sounds like fun. Uh, Family Matter sessions will begin on September 20th. These four sessions were created to pr support parents and to help their students navigate their challenges. These are for students in grades five through 12 and more information, again, is available on our website. We also have posted this information on social media. We look forward to the next issue of Corsicana Now, which is going to feature our child nutrition manager, Guadalupe Rodriguez Azua, and it will also highlight the recent changes to our menus and um, one of our favorite recipes from the middle school. And I would also like to announce that we again have broken the 6,000 student mark. We had 6,032 students enrolled as of last Friday, so we welcome all our new students and their families to Corsicana ISD. Thank you. Okay, now, Brian, Brian. All right. Now let's do the tax rate. Thank you all again for allowing me to speak. A um, couple things for y'all's approval tonight. Um, first will be our interest in sinking tax rate of 0 0.25530 for the 2022-2023 school year. Okay, so maintenance operations will be 0 0.90670 and that will give us a total of 1.162 for a total tax rate for the 2022-2023 school year. Hey Brian, just to ask um, that we are all reading this correctly, that is a significant decrease in the tax rate. Yes, um, 0 0.08. So eight cents. Yes. A reduction yes. in both maintenance and operation That's and total, INS. Total tax rate. Right. Yes, we but we've had a reduction in both. Yes, ma'am. And for our new board members, um, I want to remind you that we also lowered the M and O and the interest in sinking last year because we refinanced the bonds that were outstanding. So that helped as well. Does anyone have any questions for Brian? Any th any other things? All right, I'll entertain a motion. I move that Corsican ISD adopt a resolution to set an M&O tax rate of 0 .90670 per 100 valuation for the 2022-2023 school year and the resolution to set the INS tax rate at 0 .25530 per 100 valuation for the 2022-2023 school year. Right. We have a motion and a second. Uh, we're going to do motion for the resolution to set an M&O tax rate of 
at 0 0.90670 per $100 valuation for the 2022-23 school year and a resolution to set the INS tax rate at 0 0.25530 per $100 valuation for the 2022-23 school year. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. The ayes have it. We have now passed the tax rate of 0 0.90670 for the MNO and 0 0.25530 for the INS. For a total of 1.162 per $100 valuation. Now we move to the budget. Okay. Mr. Farmer. Uh, you should have in front of you the uh, document you're familiar with. It's the 2022-2023 uh, proposed budget. Uh, we've been working uh, to get this as accurate as possible. Um, not much has changed since the last time you've seen it. Uh, we've made a few fine adjustments in the expenditures, uh, but revenues have stayed um, pretty accurate since the beginning. Um, the more enrollment we get, like she said, is going up. That, that's great. That'll, that'll help the revenues for sure going into next year. Um, if you look at the second page, um, you can kind of see it broken down by object code. Uh, you can see that you know everything has taken a, a, a good drop from last year. Um, the only major increase we have um, is in 6,400, um, which is just PCAT insurance, or, um, and that's mainly um, like uh, ransomware, cyber attacks, things like that. Um, just caused a, an increase there. Um, on the third page, uh, it breaks down 240 and 599. Both are looking very good. Um, we're projecting to have um, a good revenue um, in 240 this year. Child nutrition um, from the uh, the increase that uh, we've we've seen since last year when we brought on the the I don't remember their names. Yes, they've they've done a great job, and um, so we we should be able to do some improvements to 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 the cafeterias across the the district with that kind of revenue. Um, so if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Um, but we're everything's looking positive. So it does look in, in getting deep into this budget that even though we are scheduled to have more students that we have reduced our expenditures as much as possible. In fact, we've reduced our expenditures pretty hefty, yeah. cut as much as we could, correct? Yeah. And will you um, remind everyone what um, the total percentage of um, that we spend on salaries directly well, to the children? This current year, um, we were projected 80 or 82 percent going into 2022, 2023, 83 percent. Eight, so 83 yeah. percent of ours is totally based on salaries directly to the students, Correct. and then even that 17 percent would be maintenance on buildings, building right, operations, yeah, transportation yeah. that would still relate back to the child. Like electricity, but plumbing, things like that. Absolutely. Too. Okay. I just want to make sure that, that we're aware of the drop and also the drop of expenditures as well as even though we've had an increase in students. Yes. I have a question as well, and I don't know if this is going to make sense. I'm hoping it does. Um, when the budget was created, mm -hmm. what enrollment number were we looking at? We, when we it, were estimated about 6,000. It was 6,000? Yes. Okay. everyone that's also you know we're running the budget in the black we're not running it a deficit um, continually continually um, and we have always past three years we have actually performed better than what we've budgeted so in addition to receiving superior ratings on our first reports which can be found on the website can't they yes well, I don't see hardly any difference in what we've been discussing all summer long. We've had plenty of opportunity to look at these and, and people could come to the meetings and look at these as well. So I move that we approve the 22-23 budget as presented. Second. 
Okay, I've got a motion and a second to approve the 2022-23 budget. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. The ayes have it. We've approved the 2022-23 budget. Thank you. Thank you. Now, additional items for the September 12th school board meeting. Just remind you that we have Labor Day, so if you think it's the first Monday of the month, we will not be here because we're Labor Day. I'd love to see a report on where we are with our um, HVAC, our roofs. Um, I know that we have had some significant issues this summer that um, unfortunately take a lot of money to um, replace and update and um, you know we don't have many opportunities to to pay for those other than bonds so when we don't have a bond out there so if we could get an update on kind of where we are in some of those situations um, I'd like to know that and I'd like to um, get a report from um, the wraparound specialist on what services that she's done um, since we've implemented the program okay thank you Anything can we get our kids back to do the pledge? Yes, we can. Thank you. I'll, I'll, um, Ms. Johansson is in charge of that, so yes. Perfect. That'd be, be nice to have them back. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Okay, we have consent agenda. I move we approve the consent agenda as presented. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. All right, we have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda. All those in favor? Say aye. aye. All opposed say no. The ayes have it. We've approved the consent agenda. And we're now going to adjourn into closed session, uh, permitted by Texas Governance Code 551.01. Thank you very much.